could be used, but it needs to either you do the grand ritual here, but to do that you would need to you know, you would need to take out the White Council presence. <sighs> he frowns I suppose if you could channel up a big enough farm for it, he frowns. Uh huh. Well, hmm. Actually. We walk out of the archive. It's like at this point, like everyone else is kind of getting bored and sort of begin to sun sort of setting in the distance, like museums guests are leaving. Guards so, are looking at your visitors passes then walking by. Felix will sit just down a whole next picnic. to them in the cafeteria. There's just a whole picnic. They've been We've sitting been... there for like four hours. Yeah, eating. Uh, yes, well, the... Uh, huh. The altar does have some certain significance. Uh, it could be used for things, but uh, uh, but you would need to either carry it out of here or perform the ritual here, which would mean that you would need to take out, well, me and uh, Edmund and whatever else defenses that might be lying around. He looks secretively at the others. Seems unlikely. Unless you can direct a huge, scary fairy monster to attack it. Uh, a huge, scary fairy monster that doesn't like wizards. And uh, that we have just put the things you hates the most up in my office. He sort of points upwards. I think that needs to be moved out of there, sad to say. So, change of topic, but Felix, Bjorn, what do you think about a visit to the opera? Uh, Bjorn looks up. Take... Like, uh, no, 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 thank you. Not after that last... Well, actually, is there an emissary involved? No. Has your phone been ringing again, Martin? Because we're kind of busy here. No, it's just, you see, on the... Our dear Polish friend had the opera marked, and I figured, hey, what kind of play would he be interested in? So I wanted to check out the program, obviously. But as it turns out, a few days ago, the opera had a, mal a sort of power malfunction. It has been closed ever since. And I don't believe in coincidences. Mm -hmm. Well, could be using it as a hideout, I suppose. That would be rather ambitious, but I have the feeling that at least our mystery Polishman had something to do with it. Seems likely. Well... We don't uh, have any other leads at the moment, or do we? I think we'll go and get the trash can. Greatly. Put it in the car. The box? Mm -hmm. lock, uh, lock the trunk securely. <laughs> There is a pale on it, so it shouldn't be too noticeable from magic users. It's more like As a car the thief. It's uh, moving down. So you can begin to feel the, the, the power of these spirits growing stronger. Yeah, no doubt. It's bad, uh, bad there, stuff. There are tendrils reaching further, reaching out. Because of the time of day? Hmm? Because yeah, the spirits are stronger at night. Yeah. Well, in that case, I guess we need to go to the opera. She nods. She so going in the car. Uh, see you driving. See you arriving. At the opera, it's now sort of dark. The sun is set. You know, the, the street lamps are turned on. The opera is, is dark from the outside. It's uh, not much visible, visibly going on there. Uh, but there's no guard either. It just has like a, a notice, presumably on the on the front door, saying that it's closed for for repairs. Has on the side also like big big banners announcing the uh, sort of the follow up things that are going to be here this summer. You know, like, uh, sort of 
things. They tried to make the opera super poppy and uh, interesting to the young people uh, by having like tales of of Disney brought brought on the on the, on the floor and such. Any old uh, opera aficionado would would shake their head and be very sad at this. Is this the particular uh, opera house that one of you had a connection to? That's, the, of course, the Berlin Opera House. This building stands thanks to me, by the way. Felix will say as he walks up to the door. <laughs> hey, hey, hey I'm I, impressed. I had some help in there as well, Felix. It's yeah. true, it's true. But uh, those, uh, all those Valkyries uh, held them off quite, uh, quite efficiently. And I truly took care of the demonstrary, like, you know, in the mm, limo. What happened to her? You know, we went back to my place and things happened. Shrugs. It doesn't really matter what oh. happened. She was satisfied through whatever means. <laughs> he kind of gives a, a grin. It's like, <laughs> yeah, she was. <laughs> Felix just oh. shakes <laughs> I should not have brought this up. <laughs> I feel like I should fist bump you for some reason. I'm not sure. He said, looks at the door up and down. <laughs> she doesn't really understand the innu innuendo going on. <laughs> not. <laughs> is uh, mm. is the streets pretty quiet? <clears throat> uh, yeah. I mean, it's not like outside Berlin. So there's still like some people. Uh like around but I mean it's, it's nothing no one's really paying attention to you you're probably mm -hmm. supposed to be wherever you are of course well let's go inside are we expecting trouble yes mm, always well Bjorn will take uh, his jacket off he'll, he'll leave his shirt and trousers on still well, He's also I... getting... he doesn't like going around naked that often even though it's uh, the other people What's like it. Being... He gets too much attention. It does. The the sex mm. appeal is uh, too high. Mm. Well, I borrowed these clothes. Police are just jealous. <laughs> I, I, I borrowed these clothes, so I will put them in the car. Look and... at this magnificently sculptured body. Yeah. <laughs> so... I'll put the clothes in the car, but I'm not knowing what I've borrowed. Also, because it's just getting more late, the higher the chance that uh, Brokta might find us mm -hmm. or track us down. And we certainly have a big magnet with us that will draw her to us. Hopefully, the whale leave will leave that in the car. I mean, I don't want to carry it. Neither. It suckles <laughs> at me. He shivers. If a fight starts, then it's not going to stay on Bjorn very long. Let's be honest. <laughs> Keep flying away and just pictures <laughs> everywhere. <laughs> so, yeah. Uh, maybe we can put up a short ward on it. You know, no one. If, if someone touches it, they explode. Or at least we know. Sure. You should really have a... We should really have a backpack. Bjorn does, but it's That's normally filled with clothes. And it's still carrying it, and it would be like probably mentally demanding having those. Probably. Yeah, I don't want things knowing at you. God no. Well, maybe Shen can seal them off a little bit. Well, you know, for would... next time uh, Tia is at the pet store, she'll buy a pet pack. Like we like we need uh, dog meat, uh, like mod for uh, for Tia, so she can have like a backpack. <laughs> and there, they there are backpacks for pets. Yeah, but can you carry a uh, a fat boy, two fat boys, and a whole bunch of guns? <laughs> More importantly, know. do you have a do you have a no. sick helmet that with spikes on it? Yes, a sick helmet with spikes. That's the most important part. Anyway. <laughs> Yeah, Shin could make a small ritual to put a sealing spell on the box that uh, he's holding in the pictures. Basically, so no one can touch it. No, well, at least would need way more force than normal to open it. 
Yeah. And there's also the veil still working on it, so it shouldn't be too too obvious for magic users to spot. Yeah, I just don't want anyone to just open the trunk as you walk away with it. It's also inside this um, car, so it's cold iron, so it's mm -hmm. keeping the fairies away. I'm more thinking Mr. Mr. Someone coming up and just opening the trunk. He might have an easier time locating something that he has cast a spell on. Yeah. And, uh, but if there's a ward around it, at least he can't just take it. Yeah. So, Manakai, would you like me for to do a ritual roll or something? or? Sure. Just... What exactly do you want to do? Well, basically, you put a ward on the box, has the pictures in it. For if someone tries to tamper with it, then I would get like a magical mental alarm sure, in my head. Alarm spell. Yeah. Also, if you can add like some sort of um, like a strength of ward to it that you can't open it, could you do that with the same ritual? Basically, if someone tries to break the seal on it, it would. Uh, sure. Yeah, all right. We'll we'll basically say there's a block on it, and if, if it's needed, then we'll roll and see how strong it is. Okay. Yeah. Okay. It's done. Other than that, silvery chains around chains around the car. Well, the car is sealed up. Uh, I suppose we get ready for trouble and uh, get inside. She grabs his stuff and looks ready. So, all right. Well, let's kick in the doors or open them gently. <laughs> open them gently, I'd say. And that Probably way. locked. There you go. That's not a problem. Push them open. Hmm. They're not locked. They're not locked. The lock is broken. Oh. <gasps> once um once we get inside, Bjorn will uh, take his clothes off and get changed. Bears are a inside, bit more noticeable. Uh, sits seemingly a uh, a security guard on a chair, looking at the door. Oh. Maybe not. Sees you. He frowns and stands up. That's not a security guard. Sirs, I'm sorry, but this premise is under being uh, repaired. You should leave. Well, it's very hazy. As it turns out, I am the surprise inspection. So I am afraid that I am the surprise inspection. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. uh, you should leave. This place is under reconstruction. Eh? You're not allowed to be in here. Please, uh, sirs, please leave. I'll have to uh, call the police and say that you're trespassing. Listen, sir, do, do you know how much money I've invested in this place? I have the written permit, I will add, that I can visit this place whenever. And I'm curious of how the maintenance is going. No profits means my investment is going down the drain. Sir, please leave. There's this... this the opera is not done yet. It will be repaired soon and reopened. Sir, it is currently <laughs> under reconstruction. And I'll have Ma to ask you to leave. Uh, Martin fumble. will look slightly confused and like wave a hand towards Felix as he continues smiling at the man. Uh, Bjorn could maybe knock him out. Or Tia. He takes his phone out against the dial things. Sirs, I'm sorry, but you'll have to leave. I'll be calling the police. Hmm. Uh, well, if you're not going to knock him out. I can knock him out. I'm psh, psh, whatever. <laughs> his phone to his ear. Oh, Felix um, will hex the phone. Put a small effort of will himself. into it. He doesn't seem to notice it. As he says. Right. Hello. Yes, I'm having some trespassers here. It wasn't yes. hexed. What? It was. It's, it's hexed, but he's just pretending. 
is the opera house. They refuse to leave, even though I've asked repeatedly. <laughs> Looks over to you. I think he might have been charmed. She knows uh, first of the others. Felix will just walk past him to up towards. He reaches out a hand to block your way. Says, sir, you cannot enter. Repairmen are not finished with the repairs, please, sir. Opera house will be operational soon. For now, I must ask you to leave. You guys need to knock him out. Uh, sure. I'd Bjorn will rather. <laughs> Bjorn will take his shirt off and just and uh, <laughs> like just gets undressed and he doesn't seem turns to into a, at all. a bear and knocks him out. Couldn't have used your, your fist. Sure. He's not I great at fighting as a human. Oh. Well, not used suffice to, to say that that Martin would have reflect reflexively or something turned around before. Beyond started his punch, just in case. I'm swallow the poor man. <laughs> <laughs> oh, it's really fit to eat him, but I mean, no, I him. Eat. It's, no, it's just it's just one big hefty hit with a giant paw. It's gonna knock most men out. You smash him to the floor. He just smashes into the into the hard stone floor, and so just lays there, doesn't move. Mm. All right. Well, let's uh, look inside. Can we sure. feel any necromantic energy coming from nearby? And uh, most certainly you can. Quite overwhelming, actually. As soon as you enter the actual sort of hall of the different halls, from the main one under the door, there is a strange ethereal blue light. Well, you can hear what that's... sounds like the the bashing of waves. Fluttering of sails. Well, that's that's a sign of something weird. Not. How do you get to that hall? Just, just like blocked by doors, or? Yeah, that door's there. You basically walk walk down the stairs slightly, and then in a door. Well, is the ritual going on, or is the TV on? There is no TV in there, you're pretty sure. It's, uh, okay. it's an opera hall. Oh, I know, you never know. Uh, well, in that case, necromantic energies, let's uh, get rid of battle, and... That bear is getting bigger by the second. <laughs> He's big. <laughs> and He's... Uh, we, uh, we'll get in there. All right. Who goes first? There are two doors if you want to bash in both. But... Sure. Two pronged assault. Yeah. Sure. <laughs> Hard yourself Bjorn, oops. Like Bjorn charging in first would be pretty. pretty Bjorn good. normally goes in first. That's there's why also a, there's also a balcony if you want to go to the balcony. Mm. You can sit sit upstairs and watch down. You know. Mm -hmm. Just mean. I don't know what is Marding planning to turn into a dragon, or how does he usually? I mean, he can't really plan that. He has like a small pistol and looks nervously ready. So maybe the balcony yeah. is good for him. Uh, mm. He'd probably be like in the mix. Sure. Howling winds and screeching birds, There's more thunder, thunder cracks from in there. This, this is going to be the Valkyries all over again, isn't it? Here's some drums playing mm -hmm. up. Mm, I don't hear any Wagner, but... Um... Alright. Kick open the doors. Sure. Who's in entering what door? Um, Bjorn, the main one. <laughs> Gia will run behind Bjorn. Yep. There are two yeah, main behind ports. Bjorn. Uh, the I, main door. <laughs> I have the main door, alright. The, the, the will close go one. towards the other door and go through that one. Yeah, she will follow <laughs> Felix. Sure, you're not there. I'm not there. What, about, what about Shin? Why is he gonna go? I said I will follow Felix. Alright. Well then, take you all. <laughs> no! Tia looks excited. Not about the fight, but the... Uh, another, yeah. another animal. 
That's that's yeah. awesome. What does she do when she sees him turn into a bear and smack a dude around the head? Uh, she does the whole with the you know puts uh, the front down and wax like let's play you know the do what dogs do when they meet others they oh yeah yeah because she she looks really happy she gives the invite to play he kind of like snorts hot wind at her with his Just large a... muzzle so. <laughs> What you see when you enter this room is rather spectacular. It is filled sort of slightly above head height, filled with ethereal waves that move and dash around. On these waves, you uh, see a ship sailing, filled with what seems to be a ghostly skeletal crew, currently hoisting sails and bracing for impact. In the audience, used to be quite a few what we do sort of uh, dead and rotting security guards and maybe even uh, some some handymen like workers and on the scene slightly offset from the center is a man shining with ethereal energy as sort of little chains of what seems to be pictures uh, are shining he has them basically braced over him as bandoliers uh, hanging there as, as ghostly energy is, is flowing out into the place. In the wake of this appears to indeed be a ghost that currently is moving his hands as if directing some sort of grand oh. play as music plays all over and as the sailors and sea folk move in rhythm to the, to the sound. It seems to be playing up, well, perhaps the Flying Dutchman by Wagner. As you enter. Goddamn Wagner. <laughs> we Put thought we defeated him. Fantastic sounds. <laughs> you see ghostly ethereal spirits forming over here. The uh, man, whom you perhaps can guess as August Krakow, is gross. laughing maniacally. Yes! <laughs> More! Bring out all of them! Bring them all here! I need as many as I can have. Uh, calls. As you see the many little... Presumably spirits fly from the pictures and forming into these shapes directed by the music of Wagner into hunters, knights, and soldiers. Sailors with a great captain upon the flying Dutchman sailing through the seas of this place. Around, the dead people in the chairs begin to turn around to look at you as you've entered. You see ripples in the ethereal sea, especially around Felix and uh, and Shin, as they have a great sort of magical aura around them. All right. Well, it's time to act. So yes, I assume you don't. You're not going to talk for a long time. Well, Felix is going to, you know, he'll take in this for a second. Mm -hmm. uh, blink. Look at Wagner frown, because he, God damn it, I thought we put you to rest last time. And then he will look up to August Krakow, and then he will slam his uh, staff down on the floor with a great bang, and he will uh, call out in, uh, in a booming voice, and he will say, August Krakow, for breaking the laws of magic and indulging in necromancy most foul, you are to be destroyed. As he says, ah, the warden has appeared. You can do nothing against my power, pretty boy. You do not understand. Breaking these proposed laws is simply a way to gain further strength. My magic is fueled by it. Yours is not. You will lose this fight. Wagner, play your symphony. Eradicate these pity fools. As the ghost turns towards you and frowns, as he would probably, hearing that maybe you are the ones ordering these silly new things in his opera. I think uh, it's time to note how much initiative you have. Thank <laughs> you. 
you want us to roll for it? Nope, you just have your, uh, your, 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 yeah. 